Hey everyone, Chad here from chattent.com. In this video, we're gonna discuss the best WordPress hosting service for your website, blog, or company site. If you already have a hosting provider, no problem, you'll still wanna listen up. For more information on this topic, you can click on my post in the description section. I love WordPress, and if you're just beginning your WordPress journey, WordPress is used by more than 25% of the top 10 million websites and it's the most popular blogging system at more than 60 million websites. So I say forget about Squarespace, Rainmaker, Wibbly, Wix, and the rest. Your best bet is to go with WordPress. The one item that you'll want to consider are the differences and nuances between WordPress.org and WordPress.com, which I talk more about in my post. Conduct a search for hosting providers and you'll come across hundreds, but it's important that you choose the right one, one that will keep your site up and running, optimize that will give you peace of mind and provide you with great support if need be. Before I knew anything about hosting, I was recommended a hosting provider which gave me nothing but headaches and so this year I moved all my websites over to DreamHost and I'm so much better off for doing so. There are two main items you should consider when looking for a hosting provider, service and pricing. Service refers to shared hosting, VPS and dedicated and there's some nuances among the three which you can read about more in my posts. I would say a lot of folks, including myself, have gone the way of shared hosting because it's affordable and it gets the job done. The price that you pay for your hosting services will depend on a couple of items. Number one, how many sites are you planning to launch? One or many? And secondly, how do you plan to pay? Will you go month to month or will you pay annually? And so depending on how you plan to pay, you can receive a discount which will lower your costs. In your search for a hosting provider, let's start here at wordpress.org and they've updated their hosting page with three recommended providers, Bluehost, Dreamhost, and SiteGround. And what this indicates to me is WordPress has done their due diligence here. They like these three providers based on their experience, based on how they deliver the WordPress experience to their customers and the support that their customers get. And so WordPress, of course, could list anybody and everybody, but they've chosen these three based on experience and their WordPress-centric solutions. Before we go any further, I wanted to hop over to PC Mag because they've reviewed a bunch of hosting services, including the three we just spoke about. And so if we scroll down just a little bit here and we take a look at Bluehost, it looks like it's got a three and a half. If we take a look at Dreamhost, it's a four and a half and SiteGround received a three and a half. In fact, DreamHost is tied with HostGator for the highest reviews. This is also a nice article because it will identify some other considerations that you might wanna look at when choosing your hosting service. It also talks about getting started and the different services that I mentioned, such as shared hosting, dedicated hosting, VPS, etc., and some more information. But just going back to the top here, like I said, it seems of those three providers that WordPress.org recommends, DreamHost, according to PC, gets the best rating. As I mentioned earlier, pricing is important, and a lot of us are looking for the most affordable rates. What you'll often come across is a rate that looks too good to be true, and that rate could be based on a six-month or one-year promotion. And so you need to look past that to compare apples to apples. For example, we're at the Bluehost site here, and they've crossed out the normal rate and they've offered a discounted rate. But if you scroll to the bottom here, you see regular rates. And when you click on this, you'll come across this page here and then you can look at the rates that they charge for years two, three, ongoing, etc. So again, have a look at the finer print, look at the details. So again, you can compare one service to another. Here we are at DreamHost and just like Bluehost, they offer information about their pricing. And so if we scroll down, you can see that they offer some plans here. And this is what I mentioned earlier about getting a discount if you're willing to pay a couple years up front. Over here is just some information about what is in their plans. And that's something also look at when you're thinking about which plan to consider. SiteGround, same deal. On their pricing page, they talk about their plans. And this is what I spoke about when you're considering one website or multiple websites because it will impact the price you pay monthly. I just want to take a couple of seconds to show you the ins and outs 
and user interface and layout of my previous provider compared to the provider I have now in DreamHost. So with this previous provider, you can see here that there's information all over the place. It looks a little bit dated. I'm not a big fan of the control panel. And it also seems like this provider was always trying to sell me on something. If we hop over to DreamHost, you can see here my dashboard is very clean. It has a very minimalistic layout. It's very easy to navigate the side panel here. And they're not always trying to sell me on something. So once again, do consider those items we spoke about when looking for a hosting provider because it will make your online experience that much more worthwhile. I look forward to seeing my other videos. Bye for now.